Hi guys, today I'm joined here with my good friend Dolly. I imagine if I filmed a YouTube video with Dolly Parton. Praise God. I would just quit after that because I could yeah. never do better. Yeah. It wouldn't be worth it. Well, what are you going to do, you know? Exactly. Today I'm filming an assumptions video. This is the second time I'm filming this because I think I hate myself. I saw Keaton do it. She's brave enough for the both of us. I'm going to be answering some assumptions you guys have made about me. This trend has been circling back around on YouTube. All right, everyone, um, let's all take a deep breath in, out. I will say, the only people who left like really mean ones don't even follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Isn't that so weird? Like, do you think that they just like wait for people to post these and then just like get a release from like being a hater? Everyone who knows me in real life said nice things about me, so, you know. You're actually a nice person. You're not mean when the camera shuts off. Huh, I wonder where they're getting this from. They literally are saying of me because of you. Yeah. <laughs> Kelsey's literally the nicest person I've ever known. I'm actually um not mean, and I don't think I'm even mean in videos. I guess unless like you see Dom and I just being stupid. But also, I think I'm actually probably a lot nicer in person because I can actually like talk to you one on one than like me talking to a camera. You know what I mean? You feel more introverted, but feel like you should be extroverted. Actually, in 2020, yes, because I would have always imagined myself to be an extroverted person, but I actually think that I'm introverted. Or maybe I'm in between an ambivert, but I also just like, I don't know, at the end of the day, I get a lot of energy from just being by myself. And that's kind of what the deciding factor is. I got a lot of things about being materialistic and... <laughs> Not true. Yeah, okay, I don't think that it is true. Here's the thing, I do like nice things. Like I do like things and a lot of my job has to do with like sharing things. Just, but I don't think I'm like materialistic in the way, cause I feel like if I was materialistic, maybe this isn't, maybe this is like a brand type thing, but like I don't care about the brand. I don't know. No, like, that's what I was gonna say. Like you would legit, like you don't care if it's designer or not. Like you yeah. just would just still, if it's cute, it's cute. Yeah. Well, also, this is a, this is the other thing I was gonna say. If something really, really nice of yours, like, got ruined, I don't care at all, or went missing, you would be bummed. I'm sure, like anyone, would, but you wouldn't be like, this is the worst thing in my life. I am so unattached from material items. That is true. You come across very basic, shallow, but you're actually really deep and real. Um. Okay. I, yeah, I do think I actually am like quote very deep and real. Dom is just gonna be defensive about everything. I don't, I, okay, here's my thing with the whole like basic thing. I think it's like so stupid, but also I'm just myself and I don't care. And also I don't owe the internet an in-depth crying, sharing my whole thing every video. And also who wants to watch that? You know what I mean? And being basic isn't bad. Yeah. Like, like I like what I like and I don't care if, what it is. In, in some ways we're all basic. True. I'm like about to put my Uggs on, you know? <laughs> Okay, there was a lot of things about my Valley Girl accent. Guys, I have no idea where it came from. I don't know. And a lot of people were just being like, you sound dumb and blah, 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 whatever. I just want to say, here's the thing. I don't care to change how I talk or how I act to make you, this random person or whoever it is, think that I'm quote unquote smarter. Like I know who I am and I don't care to change myself to appeal or to not bother someone else. Like that's just stupid. Also, Dolly Parton wrote about this in her book, but she was just like, you know, I'm blonde and I have big boobs and people think I'm stupid. And she's actually one of the probably smartest, most entrepreneurial. She has had the longest lasting career, so successful. And she's like, I let people doubt me, like whatever. It's like kind of fun to prove them wrong. But I just think it's stupid. Like I don't care, but I honestly have no idea where I've always talked like this. Like I don't know where it came from, but I don't care and I'm not gonna like change myself to for someone else like it's just so stupid you always have to be in charge less in control um okay i don't always have to be in charge less in control i think typically i probably am but i actually really appreciate it. like i think about this when we travel with like brooke danielle um keaton morgan i love that keaton and morgan like take charge in a lot of different areas like keaton makes the plan morgan is just like naturally like in charge and it is so refreshing to me because normally i have to be that friend because i'm normally that friend to other people and then also in other settings like you guys only see me in a certain setting i'm not like that actually it just depends on what it is i think <sighs> you're very confident and you are portrayed as the mean girl i don't think i'm portrayed as a mean girl literally at all but i would say i'm confident you overshare on the internet. 
Yes, probably. You're high maintenance. Actually, no. I'm actually like, do you think I am? You are not high maintenance. And but you would think that I am. I totally get what people think that I would be. But I'm not at all. Kenzie and I were talking about this because I think Kenzie makes me feel so like normal and human because I remember one time I was so hungry and everyone in LA, like no shade, no tea, would be like, oh, let's go to uh, some expensive place that's just whatever. And Kenzie's like, no, can we go to Chick-fil-A? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, she asked for barbecue sauce. It was just a very down to earth moment for me that, you know, Oh, yeah, near and dear to your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, take me to Sonic. You're very selective with friends. Yes. For sure. And you should be. Uh, yeah, and like, here's the thing. I think I'm actually like a very welcoming person, but I can pretty much tell off the bat if I'm going to be your friend or not. I'm also a friend that's very all in. So I'm like pretty much all or nothing, which is not always the best trait. But like, if you're my friend, you are in and I am like, you are in everything, I invite you in everything, whatever. I think I'm welcoming, but I'm also very aware that like your friendships make a big impact on you. But I definitely think I'm selective with friends in a way that is more so for my mental and emotional health. And also, I don't want to be friends with someone to be a bad friend because like I don't have the time or I don't have the capacity or whatever that is. So yes, I'm definitely very selective. But I'm also like really welcoming and I'm the always a person that invites everyone everywhere and all that stuff. So someone goes, sis, I literally thought you were from LA because of your accent. Someone said like you want to be a quote, a friend of mine. I just want to say, when you are friends with someone, it makes sense that you have common interests or that you guys kind of act similar or whatever because you typically have common interests. I think that Dom and I are a very different set of best friends because we actually are very different and have very different tastes. But as far as like my YouTube friend group, a lot of us dress very similar, talk very similar, hang out, we like, like the same things, right? So I don't want to be anyone. It just makes sense that you have friends who have similar styles and similar like ways of whatever. Yeah. You have your life together. Um, I, no. Uh, yeah. Dom is like, yes. Okay, it, like, I think that there are days when I feel really good and there are days where I'm like, what am I doing? Like any normal 23 year old. I think 23 is like the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest age. You don't naturally talk like that. It's just for attention from others. Do you think I need any more attention? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I promise you, it's not for that. Like, I just talk like this. That you're an amazing person and a bad thing <laughs> just happened to you. I didn't even read the end of it. Okay. You hold up your emotions a lot, resulting in you exploding later on. You are very guarded. Hmm. I mean, I have in the past been like this, but I'm in therapy weekly. I'm like really proactive about like mental and emotional health and like getting through things and whatever, all that stuff. But I do think sometimes yes, but I also think there's a healthy form of distraction like if you are for example if i'm like in the middle of a zoom meeting and i'm upset about something like that is not the time for me to deal with my emotions right so i'm going to like not disregard them but i'm going to like keep going on with my day as a human being but then also give myself time to deal with those problems i think it only becomes a problem when you don't give yourself time to deal with those problems you know what i mean you talk fast because you are always hiding something <laughs> I wish we had a camera on you to like give your your face reactions. You're very confident and don't worry about what others think of you. Yes, for the most part, but I'm also human. So like there are times, honestly, in a specific group setting, that is the only time it bothers me, like what other people think. But um, on the internet, like not, not so much, no. You've lost friends because you're judgmental. No, that is absolutely not true. And I actually just want to speak to this. Thank you, Dom. I'm going in frame for this. I'm standing up. I'm making a stand. I'm still in my PJs. I don't care. Her new PJs from Target. And my hair is in a psycho bun. Kenzie is actually, and I'm not just saying this because like, I'm living with Ken. Like, she's scared of getting evicted. And I'm scared of getting evicted, but no. Kenzie, actually, that is the reason why we became best friends was because I like, in Bible college, I was going through a really hard time of like, oh my God. of I like messed up and did something and I like just had no forgiveness for myself. And I knew I needed to talk about it to someone, but I just like felt like I couldn't talk to anyone because I felt like they would judge me. And I came to Kenzie and that's how Car Confessional started. Yeah. Because I was like, Kenzie, like I did this. And she literally was like, that's like, <laughs> 
We've been in here for two hours. <laughs> yeah. Leading up to the one thing you were trying to tell me and that was it? Yeah. So Kenzie is actually the least judgmental person and the only person that I would actually tell everything to. Yeah, I actually like am not judgmental literally at all. Like at all. That yeah. is just never, that's always a lie. It's not true. Yeah, like I feel like I could be on TMZ for like streaking and Kenzie would be like, well, you did that. Like, all right, well, here we are. Like, yeah. I, I also just, I think that also goes down to the fact that, like, I never think things are that bad. Like, I don't react. It's very rare that, like, you get me wound up about something. I just never think things are, like, the end of the world. And I also grew up in a house that was, like, very open and very, my parents are not judgmental at all. Like, it's just not true. You put on this persona that nothing really bothers you, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> very independent maybe from having divorced parents I can relate I am very independent I don't know if it's necessarily from having divorced parents I do think that that has played a factor in it but I've always been independent like my parents talk about me as like a toddler doing things so I don't really know okay you cover up a lot of what you're feeling deep down so I should keep a lot of your life private yeah I think to like a naturally anyone would do that like I'm not going on YouTube talking to you guys like I would talk to like my therapist you know what I mean so sorry because I love you but your school takes a little to no effort so before when I was in school when I was in like if you guys don't know I go to I went to a church internship college that was accredited through SEU so that was a two-year program so it was a full-time like internship essentially full-time school and with an internship and then I was also had like a full-time career outside of that right in LA where like you add on five hours in the, of the day being in your car so it just everything is more difficult um, and then I'm finishing up my last semester online and then I'm graduating. I'm not gonna act like I think my school is the hardest thing in the entire world, but I also think I, I'm a business major and I've been doing a lot of the business things since I was like 16. So a lot of my classes, besides like if it's math, like there's certain classes in Excel that I'm like, I'm going to die. I hate my life. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. But if it's like a business marketing class or something, I'm good at that because I've already done it. So that is one thing. Also, I'm just really good with time management. So... That is like my biggest strength and I will just knock out like three or four hours. But you guys also don't see me doing school. Like I don't vlog that, it's boring. You know what I mean? So I don't, I'm not gonna act like it's Harvard, but it's definitely like time consuming. And it just depends on the class too. I love you, Kinsey, but you come off as super bossy. Like that's not, that's your personality. Not in the way that makes women empowered being like bossy, you know? Anyway, I still love you. I'm actually, I think I can be bossy with you, Dom. No. <laughs> but I, I don't think I'm bossy in general. I was gonna say, I think maybe the misconception is like, Kenzie, don't take- I have to whip Dom into shape because yes, she like, needs that. And, and she asked for that too. I literally asked for that as a friend. It's the three of me to like have people like, but Kenzie to anyone else is like, hey, on your time, yeah. whatever you're thinking, like, I'm just here. And here's the thing. If a guy is bossy, it's fine. If a girl is bossy, she's like, yeah. uh, fill in the blank. You know what I mean? So, no. no. Are friends with people who believe the same things as you? No, no, not at all. I probably have more friends who don't. Yeah. Yeah. You spend a lot of money. Okay, I think people... And I got a lot of these. And it's like, you spend a lot of money, you're really bad with money, blah, blah, blah. Definitely not bad with money. Um, but also, a lot of what you guys see me get is gifted to me. So, like, when I'm spending money and out and about, one, this year, I like, even my Christmas decor, I'm not, not going to be an expense I make every, like, December. I just had to buy all new stuff for my house. But so much of what you guys see me get is gifted. So, I think that that's probably why. But... I don't spend like absurd amount of money, no. If you were, if you did, I don't, I think you would be like financially like screwed. Yeah, because I would just keep spending and spending and spending. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? You act all strong, but you're very sensitive. I do think I'm more sensitive than someone would think. You are very stuck up. No, not at all. You are so much happier in Texas than you were in LA. Yes, I definitely am like my best self in Texas, but I also love LA, but I'm definitely like so glad that I've been here this year. Like no doubt i say it all the time i would have never survived covid in la i think that all of my friends who did it are heroes but they're all so messed up right now so i'm really glad that i was in texas people tend to misjudge you slash get the wrong impression at first i think any girl who is quote unquote successful or has like a strong personality or knows her worth or is confident and i'm not talking about like arrogant like a healthy confidence i think people yeah, people like 
so often they're just like, oh, she's this or that, or like, they, I think so often they like project their own things onto you and say things. So like when people say, people get the wrong impression of me, in, like, unless it's totally my bad, it's just, I don't know, like I always think about when someone has something bad to say about someone else, I just think that that reflects so much more on them than it does on the person that they're talking about. And I'm always like, okay, noted, like that's not really my kind of person. Okay, a lot of you grew up privileged, you grew up rich. So my family definitely does better now. There were times growing up where we were definitely like doing very well. And there was times like during my parents' divorce where we lost like literally everything. So yes and no. As far as privilege, obviously I grew up in like a very wealthy, nice suburb, 100%. Like I recognize that. Um, but we didn't always have like a ton of money. So like yes and no. You moved to Texas to be trendy. What does that even mean? Like... <laughs> What? You were scared to date again. I think I was scared to date again for like a week. And now I'm not. No, because we can't. <laughs> Dom's like, Kenzie, date! <laughs> Literally, no, that's Dom Kenzie right now. I had this conversation where we're, if you know, that's the, that's the struggle with putting your heart on the line, man. Is sometimes it's not always gonna vibe. And it's not it always sucks, gonna vibe. And it freaking sucks. I'm not gonna act like it doesn't suck. But at the same time, God is good and sovereign. And we just on to the next. On to the next. On to the next. Thank you. <laughs> that, oh, girl, you got a cute neighbor <laughs> walking through right now. No, Did she's we, like she's literally watching someone walk. Windows open, girl. It's the, the dog walkers, Dom. Literally, yeah. it's all these guys walking. Girl, I'm gonna loop fits and Coco and start doing my rounds in the morning. Cause it's actually, know, they do. They my type too, you know, I like the ones that look like crackheads, but. Yeah. Um, you make over 100,000. The only reason I'm answering this one is because I've already said this when I made a video of like different streams of income and I just think it's helpful. I don't mean that in like a braggy way. I just mean like I have, I think it's like, it's seven to 10 different streams of income. Um, and I work like a lot, so yes, I do. You like being single a lot more than you like being in a relationship. I don't know, like I definitely love being single. I definitely do very well when I'm single, but I also like wanna be wiped up. So like, I don't know. But I also do love being single. Like I definitely, when I'm going through a breakup, I'm definitely not sad about the fact that I'm gonna be single. Does that make, that may not be make sense, but I think it makes sense. You have a sarcastic sense of humor, yes. Very, in all caps, materialistic. Thank you, Ava. You know what you want out of life in your relationships. Um, I think so for the most part, but I think that's always like something that changes. I keep getting like you come from a super rich family. I definitely do not come from a super rich family. And then they're like, a lot of your money comes from that. My money does not come from my family, but I'm also not delusional in the sense of like, I know that I was like set up for success because of growing up where I did. Like I didn't have to, I'm trying to think of something. Like I'm really grateful for my parents. My dad also, I think even honestly, more than like a financial thing, my dad is like so supportive of me and has always like kind of seen the vision career wise. And like so many of my friends don't have that. So I think that was one thing. And then also like in high school, I, I started, oh, I was working at a pizza shop and then I started making more money on YouTube. So I was able to, just like go straight into YouTube, that sort of thing. I, that was in high school and like I didn't have to like support myself at the time. Obviously I was living with my parents, so. You have one big cry like once a month. I think it depends on the month, you know? Your priorities have changed a lot within the last year. I think my priorities this time last year were like honestly exactly the same. I think my priorities within the last year are actually like pretty much the same. Like a year ago, I really valued like relationships and I still do now. Um, pretty like honestly equally to career like I definitely like want to get married and have a family and stuff and that's like very up there rather than like only caring about my career that you don't regret moving to Texas and you probably won't go back to LA I don't think it's that I probably won't go back to LA also like this time last year I didn't even know I was moving to Texas so never say never you are insanely loyal yes it takes a lot for me to actually like leave a relationship or a friendship but I also think that like and I think this is everyone, They're like, I'm loyal to a fault, but like, it definitely isn't always good, you know? You are genuinely happier in Texas and wouldn't change anything about your move. 
I agree. Last one. This one's good. People think you're dramatic, but that's just your sense of humor. I say this all the time. I'm never dramatic about things that I should be dramatic about. I'm only dramatic about things that are like stupid and I'm kidding. So absolutely. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It wasn't actually that bad. Some of you guys left me really nice things. So I really appreciate that because the internet can be a really heartless place. You know? <laughs> all right. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.